Kenya's interior minister says the government of Kenya will do whatever it takes to convict Paul Mackenzie, the leader of a cult church, as the death toll from a suspected starvation indoctrination is now up to 90. The minister said the purported use of the scripture book to cause the widespread massacre of innocent civilians cannot be tolerated under any law on earth. The death includes many children and a search for bodies have been paused because the morgues are full. The discovery of mass graves in Shakahola Forest near the coastal town of Melindi has shocked Kenyans with a cult leader accused of driving his followers to death by preaching that starvation was the only path to God. What has happened here is the discovery of serious crimes against the law of Kenya and against international law. It's not a small matter. It's a grave matter. Up to now, we have also rescued quite a number of people, including three who have been rescued today, this morning. And I think the figure now is around 20, 34, 34 of those who have been rescued. The purported use of the Bible to kill people to cause widespread massacre of innocent civilians cannot be tolerated under any law on earth and even outside this world. It cannot be tolerated. The government of Kenya will do whatever it takes to make sure that we convict Mr. Mackenzie and all those who helped him perpetrate his heinous crimes.